Shalom, brothers and sisters. All praises to Yahuwah, our Heavenly Father. My name is Brother Kuya, and I'm here to present to you the calendar for the fifth month. Alright, now the moon has been confirmed, has been spotted um, yesterday, Saturday. So that'll make today, Sunday, New Moon's Day, and the next four Sundays after this one will be our Shabbats. Now we have a Saturday last month, and we got a Sunday this month. So it should have made our schedule a little bit easier because most jobs are closed on the weekends. Well, I do my job be open on six days sometimes, but on Sundays also. It made it a little bit easier on us the last couple, this month and last month. But after this, we got to pick it back up what we let, what we um left off at you know, a couple months ago. Let's set up that schedule with our employer and let him know um, the following month after this month that um, we are going to have to take these Shabbats off. We can't work on these days. Other than the Shabbats, we have no other feast days in this month. So um, let's make sure that we key in on these on our Shabbats and and you know just just respect it, honor it, keep it holy like you like Yahuwah um commanded us. As we move on, I pray that y'all get something out of this and learn how to do this for yourself and teach others how to do it also. Okay, so with that being said, we're gonna move on to our calendar. Okay, this is what we have for the fifth month. All right, everything on this side over here on our left side is self-explanatory. It explains everything on this side over here, okay? Everything, the, the numbers, the colors, the position of the numbers, uh, everything. So this is self-explanatory. You see we have, this is the first day right here, the moon was spotted. Um, Saturday evening on the 20th, which was the 29th day for us. And so to make the day, the 21st, first day of the month, fifth month, New Moon's Day, this is day one. And after this, we count our six working days, one, two, three, four, five, six working days. And then on the seventh day is the day of rest which is called the Shabbat. Okay, so if you got your calendar from the fourth month, let's grab it now. Right, fourth month now. See how it come out of the fourth month and goes into the fifth month. All right, because this, this bottom, this line where the, uh, hold on, let me get my pointer. This line here, this line is going to be on your top line on your blank calendar. And I'm going to show you why in a minute. And then we're going to count, then we get our, our this row down on the, sec, on the second line on your blank calendar. Okay. So this is last month. All this is last month. This starts off your new month right here. This is your grace period right here. Uh, we can use these calendars, for, use this line and this calendar for like, you know, a few days to you get yours until you get yours made or, or whatever the case may be until I send it off. Normally, I try to get it sent off the same day. I may be a little later than other sometime, but I try to get it sent off the same day. So, but either way, if some come up, um, you have a little grace period here where you can use this fourth month calendar, the previous calendar most of the time. And then, you know, you start on your new calendar by the time we reach it. Normally, we would have your new moon day on the um, top line up here. Okay. But we don't on this one. And I'm going to show you in a minute reason why. So this is, we're going to start on our blank calendar with the 14th day of the solar solar calendar up here 
and then we'll have the 23rd day, the lunar Yahuwah's calendar on this day. So this will be our first block. It'll be our first working day from the previous month. That's what we're going to do. We'll start it from the previous month. Now, let me show you why we did this like this. Okay, if all right, this is our this is new moon day right here. For all you beginners who don't understand what we're doing, this is new moon day. And I don't know what in the world happened to my number six right there. I wish I would have fixed it before I before I did this video. But either way, it's, <laughs> okay, we got to move on. So we want to see the projected moon, okay? If I would have put this line right here up here, we wouldn't know. We wouldn't know on this calendar when to look for the new moon. So normally the new moon comes out on either one of these days right here. You know, in the evening, if it comes out on this evening, you can put new moon day here. You know, so in this case right here, by being on Sunday, and this is the first block right here. We have to use these days right here. Because of our of our because of our solar calendar, so I put this reason why I put it up here. So we still can get our Shabbat. See, normally, if if it's um if we can get that projected new moon to come out on this day at least, we could put it up top. But we can't this time because it come out on Saturday. Understand? I hope I understand. And it, you know, I leave my on uh, email at the end of every video in case you have any questions at all i can explain it to you in detail but i can't i just for the sake of time i can't go into a lot of detail I, I try to make these videos too long all right so this is our first day of the month then we have our six working days one two three four five six so y'all like but the bottom numbers are our working days okay so I'm going to try to, I wish I would have caught that number six before I had started this video. So y'all please uh, accept my apology. On this line, we have our first Shabbat. Um, you see, we have on the 28th of May, we have um, first Shabbat is day eight. So that's our seventh working day right here. So we came from the previous line. Where it was the sixth working day, and we drop down and come over to the seventh day of, of the uh, that week. So that will be our Shabbat. It will be day eight for the month, though. It's a new moon day. It's not a Shabbat. Okay. So and then after new moon day, you count one, two, three, four, five, six working days. Seventh day is the day of rest. Now you notice on this line also, you have a month change from May to June. So you got to watch these solar calendars, especially, well, you need to watch both of them, but you know, when you, your, your numbers start getting in your twenties, you got to start checking out and see when it's going on. What month, what, what number, what day is the, you know, the calendar is going to change, even if it's lunar or solar. So we count, we check our solar calendar. What we do is, we get a projected date on, we go to Moon Giant, most of the time you get a projected date. And they are not 100% correct or accurate, but they give us some closing time, and you know, close to see exactly where, you know, to see where we're going to be at. You got to, it can be off a day or two, because the thing is they have, they have the dark moon as the new moon, and that's, that's not correct at all. It's already starting off wrong. So that's not 100%. So, just make sure that when you um entering your numbers on that line that you change either the the lunar or the solar months. Okay, that's what I'm getting at. On this line we have the uh, full moon and in the book of Hanuk it says on the, the moon, once we come out 14 days, the moon will become full. All right, so 14 days. 
So the 13th day in the evening is the 14th day. All right. So your moon should be full on this day right here. Okay. This moon going to be full. When it comes out the evening, it'll be full. But now this is this is the day the full moon. All right. But then it will start when it's going to start decreasing on this day. This is when it starts decreasing. He said 14 days can be full. So 13th day in the evening is the 14th day. So the moon is full. All right. This is full moon day here. All right. So then when this full moon day, that's when it starts decreasing. So then you count. And this is also, look where it is too. It's up under your new moon day. So two weeks after new moon day, it's going to be full moon. All right. On this line, watch your numbers. Just count them and just add one. Each time you enter in your numbers, just add one, just trail each other. Okay? Six working days. One, two, three, four, five, six working days. So you know six working days, this was going to be your seventh day um, Shabbat. On this line, we have our third Shabbat here. And you notice all of our Shabbats every every month. Our Shabbat comes on the 8th, 15th, 22nd, and the 29th day of the lunar months. All right. On this line here, so far, you have no month change at all in neither calendar. No special days, no more than just the Shabbat itself on this line right here. So... As long as you got your numbers entered correctly, this right here shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't be no extra work or no extra attention needed for it. Just make sure you put your um, four Shabbat even right here. So this line right here should be should be good. On this line, we have our fourth Shabbat. It, uh, the 29th day of the lunar month see new moon day it's on day one all right then we got the 8th the 15th the 22nd and the 29th all of those days are under um new moon day and they're in the same column okay the same column so you look at down here at the 18th of um june all right you see there day 29 normally on day 29, that's when you start looking for the uh, the crescent moon. All right. Now it's projected we're going to have a 30-day month. Um, in this month, the fifth month. So you start looking for it on the 29th, and then if you don't spot it on the 29th, then we're on the east coast. You can see it on the 30th day of the month. So therefore, we've had We've had two Shabbats back to back on Saturday and Sunday. Now we're going to have a 30th day right here. So we're going to skip a day. Anytime you have 29, anytime you have 30 days, you will not have a Shabbat on the next day right beside. You, it's going to skip a day. Like uh, we had like Saturday and Sunday, two, we had two, um, two days back to back. There were 29 days in that month. If you look at the calendar up top of that. All right. So here, if you have your 30th day uh, here, see, it's going to be, you can have, it's going to be, if you can skip a day, it's not going to be on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. The 30th day is when you spot the new moon. So therefore, the next day, boom, Tuesday is your new moon day. All right, so this is going to start the six months. This is projection now. This is, these are projections. It's not been confirmed yet because when you need to confirm when we want to spot it, your witnesses, and so we get it confirmed there. These are only projections. So other than that, this is your calendar for this fifth month right here. Okay, this is your calendar for the fifth month. This is what it should look like. Now, um, before I close out, I got a couple more things I need to show y'all. Now, I have been wanting to make one of these calendars for a while like this right here. 
but I didn't want to confuse anybody. But Brother Daoud, um, my teacher, he asked me to make one back here a few months ago, which I had it in mind, but so I didn't do it, but I did send him one. So this right here, if you are familiar with what we do here, you know, I just took out all of the solar day, all of the sun day. If you look at the top, there are no days of the week up there. All right. And then you look over the side, you know, in the boxes, there's no um numbers there. It's only lunar days. All right. Um, you see, once you sp these right here is way easier than the other one is. It's way easier. Cause once you spot the new moon, all right, you spot the new moon here, then that evening, so the next day, in the morning when you get up, it's new moon day. Okay, so this really starts off, the day starts here, but you just the sun is going down instead of coming up. So that so that next morning right here, in the morning time, is new moon day. Alright, so after that, you know, that's day one. So after that, you just count. Each day count till you get to 29 days. All right. You're going to have four Sabbath every month. Once you get to 29 days, you start looking for the new moon. If it don't come out on day 29, and you look, you spot it, and you try to look for it, it's not confirmed, just go to day 30. All right. If you, for any reason, cause of cloud, trees, rain, bad weather, whatever the case may be, um, you get it confirmed at uh at uh some called Truth for Yahweh. You got renewed moon report. And you'll get some confirmation somewhere. Or you can just go to Brother David's channel. Brother David channel. You go to you know and get it confirmed. Cause a lot of people when they see it, they um they send in pictures into his channel. Uh, More of Yasharo. That's the name of his um YouTube channel. So, um, oh yeah, I got one more thing too, but I'm thinking about it. You know, I downloaded these calendars from Calendar Labs. I normally tell everybody all the time, get from Calendar Labs. And I went there looking for this calendar or a calendar that you could use, and I couldn't find one. So I had this one right here. I got this one on file right here. All right. So, let me see. Normally, right here, I try to get you the original one and send it to and just have it so in case somebody wanted one. I couldn't find it. Normally, up here, they have month up here in a box, right? And down at the bottom, it got a box. It got a year in it. And what you do, you just click in it and then um, you just write in your year and write in your month up here. But the one I have don't have that. So what you have to do is just click in this space right up here and just type in whatever you're going to type in and do the same thing down here. Just click and you can type it in. All right. And you just, just type in what you want. Now, once you want save this, if you want one, hit me in my email and I can send it to you. But save it to anything you want to. But once you put your numbers in and start making a calendar, you got to hit save as let's say you let's say you want one for the six month you got to save as six month don't hit save because you already if i if you want one i will send it to you by request a blank calendar now save it save that blank calendar as anything you want but when you pull it up to start entering your numbers let's say you enter in the six month on this line right here you got to hit save as six month. That way you could keep your blank calendar all the time. Y'all pretty much know what I'm talking about. Y'all done computer work before, but that's how I do it because I'm not a very smart person. But that's how I keep up with it right here. So if you want one of these blank calendars right here, just let me know because I went to Calendar Labs. I just could not find it. It had been so long. But um sometimes the program just be acting up you know but like i say it normally have have a little box here but it don't but it, if you click right here in this area the cursor it, you can type it in up here 
and down here the same thing it used to have year right here so just put click down here put your cursor in it I got mine in Microsoft Word so you can make this bigger or smaller when you start typing in right here if you type too big the letters gonna start disappearing so if you got Microsoft Word you going to size your letters up to where you can get all your information in there and it's legible all right same thing right here if you put your numbers too big or you add too much stuff it's going to drop down it's going to disappear so you got to make it big enough to be legible to see but it's got to be small enough to get inside the box okay so you want to make it easy for everybody to read you know and make it honest where well, the main thing is so you can understand what's going on this is this why we do the work we do here so everybody you know can learn to do it the best way that suits you all right you don't have to do it my way you don't have to use this calendar you can go to calendar labs and find your own calendar if you like one better design you know um my cousin she got one one time with some pink stuff on i said i don't want no pink stuff on my calendar you know so but anyway let's we're gonna wrap this up right here this page is pretty much self-explanatory but I want to iterate about Yahoo's Sabbath and feast days we can't take these days for granted one reason why we make these calendars here is to make sure that we keep up with them because they are commandments we have to keep them and no excuses um, this day of atonement is coming up within the next few months and it is very important that we keep that day the 10th month 10th day of the seventh month as a Shabbat and don't do no work on that day we have to fast on that day we have to inflict ourselves alright so we have to learn these so the best way to keep up with these days is to keep up with the uh, with the make ourselves calendars so to help us remind us um, of of where we at we definitely do not want to miss day of atonement we don't want to we won't don't want to do that that's the day it's the most holiest day of the year it's coming up soon so if you haven't kept it yet and you want to learn um, when it is keep in touch with us once you learn make your calendar and keep up with it okay it's very important if you have any questions concerns you can contact brother Daoud for the brothers sisters princess Maya and you contact me for the calendar any other questions or concerns that you have all right so with that being said I pray everybody got some out of it. Contact me if you want a calendar, any explanations at all. Blank calendar, lunar calendar. All right. Shalom.